Empty chairs, empty tables. But it won't be for long because just in seconds, the place will be jumping for the gala Las Vegas opening of Bobby Darren at the Flamingo. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in glittering Las Vegas. You're in for an exciting evening marking the return of Bobby Darren to the nightclub circuit after an absence of four years. A star-studded audience flew down from Hollywood to welcome Bobby back and to attend the celebrating party after the show. It's a family affair as Bobby's wife, Sandra D, gives him a good luck kiss. And his young son, Don, who might be making his nightclub debut tonight. Bobby brings the youngster on stage for a turn, and the audience loves it. It's a very cute and warm touch to an exciting show. And the younger Darren throws lines like a professional. But with parents like Bobby and Sandra, the kid has to be a natural. Now enough of this double act. Time for the business at hand. The return of Bobby Darren, one of the best entertainers in show business. And Bobby gives them his famous splish splash, Mac the knife, artificial flowers, and that's all. And the audience responds with a standing ovation. And then heads for the private party. The deserved congratulations. Another young but seasoned performer, Liza Minnelli, who often goes through the rigors of these opening nights, offers her compliments. Little Dot, after his performance, is waiting for some sort of recognition. But right now, it's all directed to Dad. He'll probably get an extra helping of jelly beans for a reward when he gets home. From the movie set, Doug McClure has flown down for the occasion. Now Dot gets a compliment from Liza Minnelli, who probably made the same kind of appearance when she was a child with her famous mother, Judy Garland. Bobby shares a musical note with the recording star, Trini Lopez. And then some nice words with British actress Samantha Egger, who's becoming one of Hollywood's most important stars. It's truly a compliment to Bobby to have this bigger contingent of stars come down for the opening. And it's evenly distributed between recording stars like Nancy Sinatra, who's a very close friend of Bobby's, and Groucho Marx, who played a great part in Bobby's rise to start. Bobby Darren spent four years making records and movies, and very successfully, too. But nothing compares to a live audience. A reception, and a hug like this, and a tremendous opening at the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas. <laughs> 